Dustborn, the game that boldly attempted to do everything except for entertain anyone. An absolute masterclass in how to take a perfectly good sci-fi premise and derail it with politics, shallow characters, and, of course, stellar writing that could have been workshopped in a high school fanfic club. But don't worry, folks, because according to the game's director, we are all just too shallow. We are all just too dim-witted to grasp the genius, the absolute brilliant behind the game. But what exactly went wrong for Dustborn? Was it the lackluster mechanics? The forgettable gameplay? Or possibly the writing and ideology? I do know, though, the game was about as deep as a bottle of dog piss. And according to the game's director, none of that really matters. You see, they don't believe that they made a game about politics. And if you, dear gamer, felt overwhelmed by heavy-handed messaging, then that's on you. Not them, that's a you problem. Even though they are the ones who inserted the ideology and politics into their game. Let me read you this gem of a quote from the director. Ragnar Tornquist. We don't feel we've made a game that's primarily about politics. Yes, you heard that right. According to Ragnar, this game wasn't designed to shove politics in your face. No, 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 no. It's just a coincidence that the entire narrative revolves around misfits fighting against oppression in a dystopian America. Totally, absolutely neutral storytelling here. I mean, this is the same Ragnar who described Dustborn as being about misinformation, power struggles, and standing up against injustice. You know, those universal themes that just so happen to scream politics. But hey, if you didn't catch that nuance, well, maybe you're just not as, well, ideological driven as the writing staff. Maybe you're, maybe we as gamers are not woke enough. And so, my fellow peasants, allow me to enlighten you. It seems we, the uncultured masses, have once again failed to grasp the subtle artistry of a politically charged, but not really political narrative. Now, the sweet irony is like watching a court jester give the speech at a royal banquet while wearing this isn't meant to be funny t-shirt. Of course, the game's failure had nothing to do with its messaging. Perish the thought, gamers. Instead, it is clearly our primitive, tiny little lizard minds that couldn't fathom the depths of the avant-garde masterpiece. Why bother catering to the audience when blame can so easily be shifted onto them? Salute genius, isn't it? Yes, it's always easier to point fingers at your critics than, I don't know, make a better game. Alright, let's be real here. The game flopped. Dustborn didn't even make a splash in the kiddie pool. Let alone out on the gaming scene. At least not for the reason it was hoping. But when it came time to own up to the fact that maybe, just maybe, they misread the room, Ragnar and his team doubled down. Not, it's not that their game is the issue. Nope. That's the audience that just didn't get it. You see, us gamers, us 
peasants, us plebs, are just too busy looking for fun entertainment and engagement instead of, you know, being lectured for the entirety of a game. How absolutely how dare, how dare we do so. So, where does that leave us? Dustborn is the latest in a long line of games that have been rejected, kicked to the curb by the gaming audience, and by audiences in general. Not because of bad luck, but because, shockingly, gamers don't like being told how to think. The director's refusal to accept any responsibility responsibility just reinforces the growing divide between the developer and their audience. Game developers and the gaming community. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a VTuber. I'm just a guy who pretends to be a cartoon on the internet. One with a sardonic outlook on everything and a love for calling out absolute nonsense let me know what you think down in the comments are we all just too unenlightened to grasp the absolute brilliance of dustborn or is this another case of political messaging and ideology sinking a game faster than a rock in quicksand like, subscribe, and uh, remember, if your game flops, it's probably because we're all just too out of touch.